Good morning. This is the uh, Lance Anderson uh, Utah Tech football press conference ahead of this Saturday's game at UNLV. It'll be the season, the road season opener for the Trailblazers. Saturday's game will be the first ever meeting between UNLV and Utah Tech on the gridiron, and it'll be the first time the Trailblazers will ever play a football game in the state of Nevada, which seems odd since we're next door neighbors. A uh, couple of notes from uh, last week. Uh, senior punter Andy Day eclipsed the 7,000-yard plateau in career punt yardage, and he was also named the United Athletic Conference Specialist of the Week after he tied his own school record with 10 punts for 468 yards. His 468 yards were the second most in the program's NCAA era and included three punts of 50 more yards. So with that, we'll open it up with uh, Coach Anderson with a quick uh, opening statement and open up for questions from there. Coach. We got another big challenge ahead of us uh, this week. Uh, play another real quality opponent. Um, UNLV is very talented. Uh, that was a very impressive win they had over Houston to start the season. Uh, last year, being at Boise State, we faced uh, UNLV in the Mountain West Championship game. So I know firsthand what a what a good football team this is. But we're excited about the challenge because it really it helps us get better. It really helps us reveal where we are right now and what we need to improve. And uh, it's just a, it's an amazing opportunity for our kids to be able to, you know, travel down to Las Vegas, be able to play in Allegiant Stadium, to play in an NFL venue. So we're, we're excited about the opportunity, but we know it's a, it's a very big challenge. All right, Rod. Coach, the numbers don't lie. When you look at the numbers and try to improve them uh, this week at uh, practice, how do you go about that and, and keeping the guys saying, hey, we're, we're, it's still young, it's still early, let's go? Yeah, you know, I, I really feel that I felt throughout the game and I felt, you know, since then – I mean, the guys are still, they're, they're really bought in. They believe in what we're, we're trying to do. Uh, they know that, you know, we're on the right path. Uh, we're headed in the right direction. But uh, the truth is, yes, we need to improve in a lot of areas. And just overall in that football game against Montana State, the execution in all phases, offense, defense, special teams, just needs to be better. For us to be able to compete in that game and hang in the game, it's just in all phases. We've got to execute better. Uh, we we got to have, have better results. And so that's been our challenge so far this week. You know, I addressed that with the team on uh, Monday morning, that we've got to make sure that practice is preparing us for the game. Uh, when we get to the game, we can't try to do something different. We can't try to do something more. It's we've got to do what we've worked on all week long, and that's got to carry us into the game and have us prepared. And, Coach, as a defensive guy, you've got to be pleased with your defense because a couple of times they started on your side of the 50-yard line and got in the red zone in the first half, and you stopped them and held them scoreless uh, with some good defensive plays. So, that is a positive. You have to be pleased with the way your defense didn't break when they were challenged down in the red zone. Exactly. There were a lot of sudden change situations. Um, you know, field position, you know, wasn't necessarily in our advantage, uh, you know, Saturday night as well. So really appreciate the effort of the defense. They they fought, they battled. Um, again, execution could have been much better, but the guys never gave up, um, really, really fought hard. And uh, it, it was great to get some, to force some of those field goals, to get some stops, uh, you know, force some fourth downs, things like that. Uh, so that there's definitely something there we can build on. In the fourth quarter, you started to get a little bit more rhythm on offense. How can you take that and say, okay, that's what we want to feel like. That's what we want to do and carry it over so you can build upon that success in the fourth. Yeah, we've got to do a good job on offense of just identifying ways to get the ball into the hands of guys who can make plays for us. Uh, we just got to find a way to, you know, convert some first downs, you know, get the chains moving a little bit, you know, take some time off the clock, you know, give the defense a little bit, a little bit of rest. But I, I think we've got guys that are capable playmakers and uh, we just need them to step up but just across the board on offense, just trusting in the technique, trusting in everything that we've done in practice every day and just be able to carry that over to the game. And, you know, I really hope that between game one and game two, I know we've got a you know, tremendous opponent that we're playing, but I hope we can see some improvement in our execution. You played all three quarterbacks. Is that going to be the same kind of scenario or how are you going to uh, handle that? We're, we're prepared again to play all three if the if the situation arises and if it looks like that will, will help us. 
Uh, but we will start with with Deacon Hill, and uh, we'll give him a chance to you know get into a rhythm to get a good feel for the game. Um, but I think both Luke McPhail and Reggie Graff bring something different. They bring something to the table. So we're going to have packages ready for them. And, uh, you know, whether we need those and get to those, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see as the game goes on, uh, you know, what, what, what it dictates that we need. So, but those two will be ready as well. When you look at UNLV, um, you thought Montana state was big and fast. Uh, these guys uh, got some speedsters and, you know, they sacked the Houston quarterback six times, um, you know, allowed under 100 yards rushing against Big 12 team at their place. So it's, it's another challenge. How do you prepare your guys saying, OK, don't worry too much about that. Worry about what you've got to do. Exactly. And I think, again, that's where it starts is, you know, especially based on our execution last Saturday, we've got to worry about ourselves and our execution uh, as coaches. We got to put our guys in position to have a chance. Uh, to be successful, but you're you're right, Rod. It is a big challenge this week. Uh, last year at Boise, like I mentioned, we faced them in the Mountain West Championship game. I look at their defense, and a lot of those same guys are back. Uh, you know, really talented guys, Woodard and Dixon. You know, and then I then I look at the roster and I see these other guys that were guys that we recruited when I was at Stanford that were being recruited by Power Five programs. Uh, you know, Jalen Catalan and Tony Grimes, and it's like. Wow, this is a talented group, so it will be a be a big challenge for us. All right, Jake, Devin, do you have anything for us? Yeah, I guess I got a couple. Coach, I just wanted to ask you, what's your philosophy regarding FCS versus FBS games? Is it something that you anticipate having at least one every year? Would you play two? What's your philosophy on them? You know, obviously, you know, that'll be up to Ken Beezer a lot, but Ken and I have already had some discussions there. And, uh, yeah, I, I welcome that opportunity. I think, uh, you know, financially, it's something that in, in a lot of cases can help our football program, and that's what we need. So we're willing to do that. And I know our kids are excited about opportunities like that as well. You know, a chance to play an FBS opponent, you know, this week. Uh, you know, it's also the chance to play in an NFL venue like – Allegiant Stadium. So I, our guys are excited about the opportunity. And I think it really, it challenges us and it, uh, you know, it, it stretches us. It makes us, uh, you know, really see, you know, what it's like, you know, to have to play at a very high level against a very good football team. And I think in the end, that makes us better. So uh, I definitely embrace uh, opportunities like this. Do you like the regional aspect of playing like a UNLV and then obviously keep it in state if at all possible, playing Utah State, Utah, BYU, et cetera? I, I think those opportunities are great. Like, you know, for us where it's the opportunity just to bust down to Las Vegas. And I love, I know a lot of our fans uh, can get there. Um, you know, a lot of families of our players. I mean, it's not a far trip for them as well, whether they're coming from Arizona, Southern California, Utah, you know, right there in Las Vegas. I think it's, that's great. You know, so the, I know we've got some in-state games scheduled in the future. I think that's great. But again, uh, you know, depending on the, on the opportunity uh, we're, we're welcome to, uh, you know, playing any any uh, FBS level team that uh, you know might might be a good opportunity for our program. Last thing for me is just to, I'm up here in Salt Lake City, so I just wanted to ask you what's the adjustment been like? How the seasons here and everything? How are you fitting in down in St. George? It's been good. It's been it's been very busy. Um, so I mean, there's not much time for anything other than football. And a lot of people ask me, "Hey, have you done this or been there in St. George?" And it's like, uh, well, at this point, all I really done is you know go from like our house to the to the uh, football stadium and offices and things here. But yeah, we're enjoying it here. This is a beautiful area. I think this is a great area to recruit to. It's a beautiful campus. It's a growing campus. It's a growing community. Uh, so we're, we're very excited to be here. Coach, I apologize if this is redundant because I got on here a little bit late, but can you just tell me what was um, two or three positive takeaways from the season opener? And then maybe give me a, uh, two or three things that definitely you got to make a big swing in the adjustment category for UNLV. You know, some, some positive things were, I mean, the way the defense really battled all night long, you know, they gave up a couple big plays, but they really hung in there. They really fought. Um, you know, we forced some, some fourth down situations. Uh, we forced some field goals, you know, we they missed a field goal. We blocked a field goal. So uh, I think just the way the defense battled was, was very positive, even though, there are a lot of things we need to get better at there. Uh, you know, just overall execution, tackling, things like that. 
Um, you know, the beginning of the fourth quarter where we had that drive, we had some positive momentum where we some, completed some passes, uh, had Deacon Hill on the long touchdown run. I mean, those were, were positives. We just need more of that. We need to build on that. Um, you know, in, in, the, in special teams, I mean, we blocked the one field goal. We came close on a couple others. We came close to blocking a punt. So I think those were positives that we can build on as well. Uh, negatives there the two long returns in the in the punt game I mean we can't give up a 45 and a 53 yard uh, return so our coverage units have to be better there but also with our with our punter our placement um, on our punts needs to be better I mean if we're trying to punt the ball over over and get it to the numbers that ball can't be in the middle of the field because it puts us in a in a tough uh, position to have to cover those things so those are things we are we are working on this week All right, there's no other questions for Coach. Just a reminder that the game will be uh, aired live uh, locally in Las Vegas on the Silver State Sports and Entertainment Network. Also, will be streamed live on the Mountain West Network. Fans can also listen to the game locally on the Fan Sports Network with Rod Sundle and former Utah Tech running back Ronnie Walker Jr. on the call. Pre-game show on Trailblazer Sports Vision will, will start at 12 noon Mountain Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Kickoff in Las Vegas will be 1 o'clock Mountain, 12 noon in Vegas. We appreciate y'all being on, and we'll uh, see you hopefully on Saturday. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.